polystatin shutters. So polystatin shutters have had a few new additions this year that I'm sure quite a few of you guys have been patiently waiting for. First up is the bullnose zebra with flex strip. So I've got a sample over here and you guys are more than welcome to look at it later on. So this is it. So this is a frame that just offers a nice, clean, simple look that can blend into many different home environments for that perfect finish. Now unlike the current Z frame which is designed to be mounted onto architrave windows, the bullnose Z frame is more like the T frame which is, sorry, so the current Z frame is designed to be mounted onto architrave windows, the bullnose Z frame is more like the T frame which is designed to be mounted onto non-architrave windows. Now the bullnose Z frame now also includes a rubber flex strip and that's this guy right here. What this rubber flex strip does is it actually hides the installation screws. So when you're viewing the product from the outside of the window, you don't see the installation screws anymore because this rubber strip obviously hides that. So again, it just provides that nice touch to just complete the product. Now the T-frame as well, as of the 4th of September, will include this rubber flex strip. There are new deductions in place for both these frames now. So in terms of width, you're looking at 6mm and the height, you're looking at 6 to 9mm. Now you guys don't have to worry about taking these deductions, we'll automatically take this into consideration um, when we build the product for you guys. Bypass shutters have also had two new additions. The first one is open bypass. So we've got a sample here, and again, you guys are more than welcome to have to open this later on. Which allows the two panels to slide past each other and the lube is open. Okay? So both panels can slide past each other with the lube is open without any obstruction. And what this means is the customer can operate the product mindlessly without actually having to worry about closing the louvers each time they want to slide the panels past each other or move the panel in a different direction. The second new addition to uh, bypass shutters is a triple track, or it's nicknamed the triple bypass. <laughs> <laughs> and what this is, is this is three tracks on a single frame. Now keep in mind with this configuration, you can't actually have the louvers open. The louvers will need to be closed when the panels slide past each other. Now both these frames, the bypass open and the triple bypass, uh, both these configurations, they both use the same frame. I don't know if everyone can see this from here, but the bypass open actually uses the two outer tracks, leaving the middle track free, and that's what allows for the louvers to stay open when they slide past each other, as where the triple will obviously use all three tracks, so the louvers need to be closed. Another new addition to this frame is, I'm not, again, I'm not sure if everyone can see this, but the frame now has grooves in it, which allows the track to sit in the correct position nice and easy. So the current frame has just got a guideline where you've got to position the track onto. With the new frame, you've got grooves in it, so you just drop the track in, in, the, in the groove and that's it, nice and easy, it's done. Um, just one thing I want you guys to keep in mind is, because there's been an addition of a third track, obviously this frame is now li larger in width. So this frame is 220mm uh, wide compared to the current frame that sits at 127mm wide. So just take that in consideration when you guys are measuring up or quoting that it is going to work out for you guys. Will we still be the other frame? Yes, so I was just going to get to that and say the current bypass option is still available even moving forward because consumers might not want the open or the triple or this might not work out depending on where they're going to have it. So the current frame will still be available moving forward and talking about that, it's important to note now when ordering that there are three options. So if you guys just say bypass on the order form, you'll get the current bypass system. So you have three options, bypass, bypass open and triple. So just make sure that you do select which option you're after, um, just so things don't get mixed up. Now onto Valenzas. So Valenzas are also now new and improved with a new design. So this design here offers a nice contemporary look now, a bit different from the current Valenzas that we offer. Um, there's also been a major change for installers now, making their life a lot easier as well. So no need for screws, glues and caps anymore. The new design incorporates a clip assembly, which allows the two ends to just clip into each other or made into each other for a nice clean finish and also just an easy assembly. The other change as well is in terms of fixing... Fixing the valance onto the shutter now has changed. So there's two components involved. First is the valance, obviously. But the second is this clip assembly. So what you do now is you'll actually screw this clip assembly onto the shutter and then you clip the valance on. So no screws, nothing's visible. What that also means is if you guys ever need to take the valance off, it's nice and easy where you just disengage it off the clip and then clip it back on. Okay? 
So this filament is available in all three colours and available for bypass, bipole, <coughs> and there's also a crown option which is similar in size to the current deluxe. There's also been a few small updates to some existing parts. So the first one is the um, panel lock. The panel lock's been changed now where it actually incorporates a spring-loaded roller wheel. And what that means is less wear on the frame each time the panel's open and closed and you won't get that mark at the top of the frame. The second change is the actual plug itself. So the plug now will come with two feet instead of four. And this allows for a more secure um, seating in the hole. And what it also means is both three eight-inch holes and 10mm holes can be used compared <coughs> with the current plugs that specifically require three eight-inch holes. All right, guys, so that's it from me. I hope you guys are excited about the new extensions um, in PowerView, the PolySat and shutters. And I'm going to hand over to Di to wrap up today's session.